Seeing other people happy is good. Unique New York. I don't think this has really happened to me. I have a very good way of blocking out traumatic memories. He wants to keep his only life. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. Linda, Paul, Janet, Paul, Paige. John, Mike, Robert, Jim, Eliza. uh, John, Caleb, Mary, Peter. Uh, Jonah, Silas, Eric. Um, Linda, Mike, Kristen, Tom, Kathy, Frank, Peter, Emily. Um, Tom, Kathy, no, Tom, Nancy, Bradley, Luthia, Luthia, Raphael, Raphael, Maria. Toys, anapromorphic. They act like humans. There's a relationship between us feeling for these toys. They do fun stuff. We want to do fun stuff too, just like them. I landed in Detroit one Memorial Day weekend. I met up with my friend Minto straight from the airport I headed to submerge the UR headquarters in downtown Detroit. We went to the basement of Submerge and uh, Mike Banks was behind the counter. They were selling copies of Drexia's Uncharted EP, represses that Mike Banks had just made. Minto said they were selling them for 50 bucks a pop. I went up to Mike and asked, Hey, I heard you have Uncharted. Is it 50? And he said, 50? It's 100. And I said, Oh, uh, uh, Minto uh, told me it was 50. And he said, Oh, you with Minto? Okay, it's 50. Stays on Earth! Sierra. Uh, Ten year old joy, feather champion, chess player. Uh, Feel kind of weird. Chinese American so from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That things childhood a little bit. The value of money and um, is, uh, with my kind of some sort of weird bleakness, a bit more abstract in people human condition. Of my especially right in uh, the summer. It feels good in Los Angeles, California. But the ending is really nice when you have all the children singing all together in harmony. It's Reminds me of maybe like the intro to the Rolling Stones, that one song, Get What You Need, or whatever. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. If you could choose your last meal, what would it be? I become obnoxious when I drink too much. When it comes to unmanageable, the cleanliness and sanitary nature of other people, but I don't hold these same standards to myself at times and can come off hypocritical because of it. Would you rather inflict pain upon yourself or visit a dentist? Great. Black. Black. Going to craft work with my whole family. The first time I heard electronic music on a big PA. Red Red leather, leather, yellow leather. leather. Matthew, Pack, um, Wah, Donald, uh, Mike, Jane, College, my first attempts at dating, 
It was a Monday Wait. night out for a movie. Sherman. We parted ways at the Mike. end. I really liked her. Candace. Ben. The next day I get home from class Sim. and hear the loud noises of her fucking my roommate. It was a new pain I felt. Amelia. Kim. Sam. Keen. Quan. Ting. Ning. Tan. Chang. Fong. Uh, Mile. Hua. Would you want to know when you die? If you don't want someone to call you, it's okay to give them a fake number. Crazy. Party animal. Insecure. Fucked up. One, One watches. Two, two. Behavior modification. Three, three, four. Surveillance four, five, capitalism. Five. Six. Violence seven, of any kind. Eight, seven. Nine, eight, ten, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eleven, fourteen, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, thirteen, seventeen, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, sixteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, eighteen, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty, twenty seven, twenty one, twenty eight, twenty nine, two, thirty, twenty three, thirty two, twenty four, thirty three. 34, Very happy little white puppy with 36, hope in his eyes. 27, 27 38, 39, 40, 29, 41, 42, 30, 43, 31, 44, 32, 45, 46, 33, 47, 38, 34, 49, 35, 50, 51, 36, 52, 53, 54, 38, 55, 56, 59, 57, 58, 40, 59, 41, 60, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. What happens on Earth stays? First time I ever visited New York City, I was in Chelsea with some of my bandmates at the time. And I, used to I was looking across the street my and with my friends, these people and were waving away this woman who was walking away from um, the shop. And I realized well, it was actually a hair salon. Would, would the person who was walking away was actually Liv Tyler. And then I tried to get everyone's attention, that was my posse. But they were and half a block away and didn't even realize that the beautiful Liv Tyler so was else. nearby. She was very tall. But it was all paper. So I had my own little restaurant. Well, you always speak your mind about some sort of a war allegory. Is that right? <laughs> With different hegemonic. Interests represented by different voices. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. The possibility of tomorrow being able to enjoy five or four correct or just dissolve whatever left me feeling dissatisfied or pissed off at the end of the day. like after you've lived that long. I don't know how sustainable that's going to be, but as of 2019, that is. The feedback loop. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. More Nature, telephone calls. Going outside. More genuine juice, communication. Hiking. More complicated. Sound, sounds. Silence. And considerations towards uh, shared dynamics and uh, how to create more... Mm, Interesting situations.
John was thinking about Sun Boy again. Sun was a stupid with cheating board and dishonest motives. Absence walked over to the window and reflected on her surroundings. She had always loved Sleepy Town with its quaint dishonesty. It was a place that encouraged her tendency to feel angry. Then she saw something in the distance, or rather, someone. It was a stupid figure sun boy. Food. Red leather, leather, yellow leather. leather. Being forced to go to the vegan punk restaurant in Massachusetts in which rampant food poisoning occurred and being purchased nothing but the appetizer plate Penny Lane is in my ears. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. Danny, Susie, Genevieve, Bill, Brad, Mike, Sarah, Mike, Betsy, Linda, Rick, Chester, Mary, Starla, Skyler, Tyler, Jet, Diana. So clearly it has hold to no appeal for me. Though if pressed, I would venture to guess it has something to do with the fact that people like toys and people like stories. My boyfriend was turning 18 and uh, we wanted to go. We all bought tickets to this rave in Austin um, and I told my parents I was spending the night at a friend's house and we bought like an ounce of weed and like drove to Austin to go to this party with my boyfriend and two of our friends. And, um, <clears throat> and when we were like 20 minutes outside of Austin, we were like <sighs> smoking a blunt in the car and I did not realize that, uh, like the entire surrounding area of Austin is essentially a speed trap like that's how they make all their money is just by pulling people over. And so we got pulled over and, um, you know, the cops like pulled everybody out of the car, like found everything we had in the car, you know, because I was the driver and I was like, probably because I was the only girl, they, you know, they kept me by the car. And then, and then my boyfriend and our two friends were lined up, you know, in, in this like ditch with like all these lights on them. And like 20 feet away from each other and, and the cops were searching all of them and every single person had like some, like some tiny bit of weed on them. And, um, and because my boyfriend was the only one who was 18 because it was his birthday that day, um, they arrested him and they just let all of us go, which is not really what you're supposed to do. But so I was like freaking out and it was over Thanksgiving break. And so all of my friends who lived in Austin were, were at home with their family. And I was like calling people cause I really didn't want to go to the party anymore. Obviously I was like very sad and, but like literally nobody was there. And except for my one friend, Chongor, who was, Dry, he was like, I'm driving back there. I'll be there in like three hours and you can come and stay at my house. And I was like, okay. So we had nothing else to do but go to this party. And so we went and I was just like sitting alone in the bleachers the whole time. And then, you know, I left and went to my friend's house later and then had to like bail my boyfriend out of jail. And then... um. Yeah, and then I w went home. Michelle Williams. Jr. Middle school reunion. Beloved dog. The drawings that I will bad habits for getting you. Good ones. High five. And it's me holding him up. On a larger level, it's him. Sort of scared, looking five pound chihuahua. That's not a pessimistic. Hands wrapped around his belly. Realistic. And accelerated on decline Sunday of the environment. Night, I make cold press Fascism juice, growing the world over. And I do this every week. About your assessment 
of another person's character or work when put on the spot and asked to give honest feedback. What happens, what happens on, on Earth stays, stays on, on Earth. Earth. Stays on Earth. Do you believe in luck? I'm not having any confidence in luck because I have a hard time hearing what they're saying. And sometimes I'll have to ask them four or five times to repeat themselves. And I will actually have to speak back to them to confirm what they're actually telling me to avoid any sort of confusion. What's the best decision you ever made? Green. Black. I once was very fixated upon the movie Back to the Future Part 2. And one day in the grocery store parking lot, there was a guy who had a DeLorean. And he got into the car and drove it away. And my dad made us drive after him so we could stop the guy and get out of the car. And I could sit in the DeLorean because that was the only DeLorean I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Raji, Ravi, Radha, Ragini, Swathi. Shashank, Mike, Vinay, Ben, Nina, Betsy, Deepa, Rick, Mira. We went to this uh, bar Vivek, in um, Vidya. Fort David. Green on DeKalb Avenue. And talking about our lives, she starts describing her day to day, but it kind of just turns out to her just complaining about her coworkers. And this went on for about two or three hours. And after drinking so much and getting really bored, I started kind of falling asleep. And, um, you know, he, she didn't care. We had another date. Exactly the same thing. And I decided I think that was, this is probably not going anywhere that I'd like to go. Would you rather be stuck in a house with someone you hate or stuck alone? Your Family age if you're over 21. Loving. Paranoid. Cautious. Old. Gullible. Worrisome. <laughs> Short. <laughs> Pakistani. Practical. Kind. One, two, two, three, three, four, drama, five, six, five, five, seven, necessary, six, eight, nine, seven, ten, eight, eleven, nine, twelve, thirteen, ten, fourteen, eleven, fifteen, twelve, sixteen. 17, what happens on earth stays on earth i once accidentally met rod stewart in Las Vegas. It was tasked upon me to have him sign Christmas a guitar. Was always a big thing growing up. He was All very Christmas. friendly momentarily. Then I was ushered away for him to meet the rest of the meet and greet people who were all middle-aged women who looked exactly like Rod Stewart. What's the most anxiety inducing thing you do on a regular basis? Childhood, fun, friendship. Family, um, working together to achieve a common goal. Drama. What, what happens, happens on Earth stays on Earth. Stays on Earth. Regular uh, sleep uh, cycles, yeah, and and whatever I can do Ruby, to keep the depression at bay would work for me. Really nice. Sounds, and computer music, my ears. Jerry Lewis, clowns. Italy. The bloke's bike's back break, blocks broke. 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 Apparently, I've been doing this thing that is supposed to make me feel centered. As said, gulped, she glanced at her own reflection. 
She was a spiteful, malicious alcohol drinker with a dirty board. Her friends saw her as judge. Once she had even helped an unusual child. But not even a spiteful person who had once helped was prepared for what Sun Boy had in store today. The sun shone like thinking software making calm. Absence grabbed a tattered many books that had been strewn nearby. She massaged it with her fingers. As Absence stepped outside and sun came closer, she could see the fried glint in his eye, the glint of thinking software. Acupuncture, re-watching old television shows by starting in the middle of the series, and decaffeinated tea. We went to a monster truck rally and... Um, got milkshakes while we were there and there was a lot of smoke um, in the stadium and it made me feel really sick and I guess the person I was with was also you know it was just it was really noisy and loud and we couldn't really talk to each other and I wasn't really into it and and yeah he wasn't feeling well either and then um, so while we were there he puked on my pants and I had to go home after that. What happens on Earth stays on Earth. Mahesh, Devika, Ranjan, Rachel, Nikki, Jotika. Jeff, Vansa, Mike, Mitch, Aparna, Mike, Sachin, <laughs> Janella, Annika, Steven, Arish, Ben, Chitra, Betsy, Akash, Kellyanne, Anjali, Gina, Lalita, and we finna lose all self control. Guan. Mira. Donald. Anand. Nidhi. Ivana. Roshan. Dylan. Jared. Anmol. Wilbur. Sonu. Sam. Welcome. <laughs> Nimi, Ruchita, Ashish, Arni, Richa, Kishore, Rachna, Kabir, Vasu, Kanta, Kamlesh. Laji, Sharad, Sanjana, Shrey. The idea is that there are inanimate objects that you cherish, which in turn also cherish you, and undergo a state of abandonment, but triumph in a domestic setting that is gigantic. I hate Halloween. Um, my mom was, um, <clears throat> she was a room mother. Every year she, she uh, was selected or nominated herself as room mother. Room mothers, I don't know if you grew up with these things, but uh, there was a parent assigned to each classroom who was in charge of coming into the class to help the teacher on oh, no. special program in your field trip. <laughs> and one of those special event days was Halloween every year. Um, so in the run up to Halloween, every year I would beg my mom to be a football player or an army man. And she would say, no, no, I got a better idea. Uh, and every year, about three weeks out, she would start planning and executing some ridiculous costume knowing that she would be in the school the day of uh, the Halloween parade. We would have a parade every Halloween in, in school. Uh, and she wanted to be proud, what right? She wanted to win. And uh, you weren't going to win if you looked like everyone else. Um, so she would make, you know, these robot costumes made out of multiple cardboard boxes 
uh, and and flexible tubing from dryer exhaust, dryer exhaust tubing, um, or a knight in shining armor uh, with tights. You know, these ridiculous costumes uh, that were big and bulky uh, and took a tremendous amount of time to get into the school, much less to get into and to walk around uh, in this parade, right? You've got pictures. And the entire time I, I would be in these costumes, I would hear the, uh, you know, pe- people picking me out. Uh, look at him. What's he? Look at that. Ooh. You know, and even when it came from a good place, you know, it sort of spoke to difference. Uh, and I had all sorts of social anxiety um, that people were looking at me uh, and probably judging me as a fool. Um, so that's how Halloween would start every day. Uh, me in tears. In, in, in a bathroom, my mom forcing me into these costumes, uh, me parading through the school, imagining that everyone was, was poking, uh, poking at me, pointing at me, and thinking, what a freak. Um, but it only got better because at night we would, you know, go out to get candy. Um, so this was the entirety of the evening, walking, you know, eight, ten houses, sweating, not really enjoying the process, worrying about keeping an eye on my little sister, uh, then jumping into the car, then being quizzed by my mom. What did you get there? And what did you get here? They only gave you what? Blah, 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 blah. Did you all get the equal amount? You know, uh, very, very stressful. The entirety of the situation was stressful. And then three years running, three years running, at some point I got into the car and my mom says, who stepped in dog shit? And I promise you, three years running, I bent bent over to sniff at the bottom of my foot, and indeed, it was me. Uh, and so for those three years, both that would end the evening. Uh, we would immediately be whisked back to the house. And then as my best friend and little sister traded candy uh, in the living room, uh, I was stuck on the back porch with a, a piece of stick um, picking out dog shit from the treads of my sneaker. Putting things away, putting some things, pruning it down to move 50. Something's coming in, but something's coming out. It's a not a brown cat rattlesnake eating a mouse. It's like... Jim Carrey legs. in the mask where his tongue rolls out and it's kind of like there's just a sw- swaggering, there's a swinging back and forth that has a unique quality I can't really describe. My phone number. What yeah, happened? Yeah, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. What are some things that you shouldn't say at a funeral? Telling too many stories. Remember when the beginning. So even if I were to recount something that happened this morning, I would say, remember when? And as Tony Soprano would say, remember when is the lowest form of conversation. Where do you see yourself in five years? My other cousins playing Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo, having a good tournament going on. Unique, Unique New York, York dog. Damn, son, where'd yeah. you find this? Andrew, Hunter, Nancy, Ivanka, Bob, Paul, Biddy. Mike, Sarah. Tristan, there was a, a, a woman named Faye uh, that I'd grown up with, probably knew for 12 years, never had a a Jocelyn. burning passion for her. Never really thought about her, but at some point oh, yeah. we ended up um, sitting next John. to each other in a in a science class, biology maybe? Oh, that's yeah. senior year. Um, and we hit it off as friends and we were chit-chatting and she would laugh at my jokes. And uh, and so at some point I said, oh, I should, I should ask out Faye, I said to myself, and probably put some time and thought into it because that's how I um, operate. It wasn't a... a impromptu act um, but I do remember walking her 
uh, from class to her Bio next gun. class. And this was, that's not something I did. And maybe she thought something up. Uh, but eventually got to the door of her next class and said, oh, we should go out this weekend. Do you want to go out? Um, and kind of caught her off guard. And she said, yeah, but didn't seem to be super excited by that idea. Um, and immediately I thought, oh, geez, did I make a mistake? So I had three days to think about it uh, and was sort of, yeah, second guessing myself. Didn't think I could get out of it. Um, although I'm not sure, I, I seem to remember a couple days later, she said to me, are we still going out? Because I hadn't followed up with the phone call and specifics. And oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll call you tonight with the specifics. Um, showed up at her house. This is probably a Saturday, I would say, uh, to pick her up. And when she answered the door, her mom was standing with her. And the contrast between the mom and her reaction was, was brilliant. Faye was just sort of, uh, I don't know, sulking. or she, she was not excited again, uh, but the mom was super excited. And I took Faye to New Haven, Connecticut, which was my, that was my Bruh. first date move for a while there, uh, to a coffee shop bookstore, right? Uh, just off of the Yale campus. Yeah. It was populated with Yale students. And it seemed all very smart to me at the time. Uh, and we get inside and Faye is super unimpressed. And the conversation uh, lags for an hour and an hour and a half. Uh, and there's none of the laughter um, that we had experienced or shared in in biology class. Um, so I cut bait and we, we sort of end the date short. Oh, let's, let's go back home. And we walk out to her car and in one last attempt to be cute, uh, to get a laugh, um, I walk her to the passenger door of my, was it a 240DL, this Volvo station wagon, 1980 station wagon that had uh, didn't have automatic locks. And I unlock her door and she gets in. And as I walk around the car, I see that she leans over and unlocks my side. So I, I stick the key into the lock and I relock the car, then pull on the handle and then look all confused and panicked by the fact that the, the car door doesn't open. Uh, and she casually leans over and unlocks it again uh, and doesn't break a smile and doesn't find it cute. And I drove her home and that was my date with Faye. What's an unpopular opinion you have? If it's going to prevent any further damage, and mail. further drama, then that's something I will tell people to deceive them and uh, you know, to use their imagination to believe what they want to think about. So Johann Sebastian Bach's son, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach, was employed by Frederick the Great of I Persia in his court before. as a magician. I really knew what and was. one day the king invited <laughs> <Jay> <laughs> and his 
forte piano, which had just been invented and was a novelty item at the time. And so Bach sits down and he's improvising and he is playing fugues. He's playing a three voice fugue, a four voice fugue. And then the king says, why don't you play a six voice fugue? And so Bach sits there and he is a little flabbergasted. And he said, oh, I can't do that. Uh, I'll need some more time. Meetings, and I was saving and so, Yoan Schlesterbach was Hi, back yeah, home uh, and Sam's Club. Um, and later on, the, get, the king yeah. gets Once I got a letter from mark. Bach in the mail, uh, and it is me, like, hey, a music composition, which is the says, like, musical okay, offering the bag, like, for the king. in the bag, but... Which is the six voice view. I went to Radio Shack and bought an IBM computer that was $3,000 or something. And they used my money I'd been saving to get the computer. And I really never forgave them. Oh, you want to end? A child's fantasy come to life. Children love their toys. Adults love toys. Everyone loves toys. What's not to like? What, what happens, happens on Earth stays on Earth. 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 The belief in that I haven't seen it all or experienced it all. And the continued excitement about experiencing it. Like and you would endure and it for 20 minutes, make an excuse to leave, and then never speak again. But those riffs just conjure the smell of that gross garage what happens on earth stays on earth 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 a lot of great art mike will people look pretty good here too personal goals and um grow as a as a human oh, this my shit. Um, probably do a lot of laundry sun gazed with the affection of helpless software he said in hushed tones i love you and i want revenge absence looked back even more calm and still fingering the tattered many books. Son, I don't have money, she replied. They looked at each other with ambivalent feelings, like two poised, pretty lumbering at a very greedy summer day, which had computer music playing in the background and two cowardly plodding to the beat. Suddenly, Son lunged forward and tried to punch Absence in the face. Quickly, Absence grabbed the tattered many books and brought it down on Sun's skull. Sun's cheating board trembled and his dishonesty wobbled. He looked delighted, his emotions raw like a chilly, curious mood. Then he let out an agonizing groan and collapsed onto the ground. Moments later, Sun Boy was dead. John went back inside and made herself a nice drink of alcohol. <laughs>